All right, hello and welcome to the demo for Nowhere. This actually came out a couple of days ago. Uh, the demo came out a couple of days ago on Steam to be specific. And uh, it's been on my wish list and I was going to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. So uh, today is the day to do that. Uh, anyway, it is developed by one person. I always like to support solo developers, you know, like I, I feel like they're doing like a lot of amazing things. I'm a little jealous of their ability to do everything. Uh, I have no idea what was on screen because I was looking at my keyboard. So, um, okay. The journal is to keep track of all of our clues. We'll bring up our journal. A bunch of people are missing. And I've tracked them into the forest of Forlogna. Forlogna? I guess. I mean, they need to find evidence they were here and where they might have gone. All right, let's see. Let's see. Daniel Graham is a 24 year old man with long brown hair and green eyes. He's been missing since April 4th. Um, okay, it's, it's red camping gear, blue backpack, camo jacket, also a man, also, and then there's a woman. Uh, the, the common thing is, like, everybody has a backpack of some sort. So. We got a map. Here is... Well, whatever this is. What is this? This is an RV, right? I can interact with items and scenes in the world. You see one of these icons. Okay. How long has this been here? I, I, I do not know. I just got here myself. Well, I don't think those... I don't think the window tent is up to code. I mean, I don't really know where this Forlogna uh, forest is. It could be anywhere, I guess. But I don't think you can have your windows that tinted. We need to find our van. Please don't move it. It is also locked. I went to call our supplies with us, so don't bother breaking in. Alright, so we know that Daniel's with Sarah, so that's... That's kind of like a, like a clue. Alright, if I was Daniel and I was with Sarah, I suppose I would take her into the creepy forest. Uh... Because that's, that's what people do. Well, let's take a picture of this. I feel like that's important. Yep, I took a picture. Stop telling me to take pictures. This is this is really cool. Um, okay, that's that's me focusing, and this is me bringing up a clue of source. Dear victim. Hmm. All right. So I I assume that we're actually assuming people aren't just straight up missing; they are straight up being murdered. You know, without a compass, a map is is actually kind of useless in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but even then, sometimes a map isn't very useful. And I will say, without like uh, being able to have like a north, south, east, west, the map is not going to be something that's particularly useful for me, uh, unless I can actually see like specific landmarks. And considering there's only like one landmark of the. Um, the RV, uh, yeah, we were, we were kind of hosed. We're just lost in the forest. Oh, no, hold on. We found a cave, which, uh, I don't know. It seems like it potentially has been marked on the map. Maybe that's what the deer head is. It seems like an odd symbol to use for, um, or a cave, I would have drawn a cave on the map. It's a very cool looking cave, though. Gotta give it that. Alright, we got a naked person. Uh, two, two naked people. I think they're mannequins. They have 
like no skin. It looks kind of creepy. Oh, I can't, uh, can't check him out fully. Let's take a picture. Smile for the camera. And you too. Get all up in your face. Well, you know, I don't think any of these guys could possibly be None of these people are the people we're, we're missing, and... Oh my goodness. Um... Well... I don't think that was supposed to happen. Look at that magical, magical stuff. Alright, uh... Get unstuck. Cool. So where are we now? Oh. Um... Jeez, okay. Well, looks like we found uh, some new stuff to find a little, little village of sorts. Kind of teleported from the cave. What do we have here? Why does this feel so menacing? Probably because he's got like a spear and spears can be, you know, dangerous, I guess. Alright, so I fell through the ground somewhere over here and ended up here. Oh man, it's like instant climb. We're all the way up here. So this focus ability doesn't really seem to do... I don't know, it doesn't really seem to be like that helpful. Um, but maybe it's because they just really haven't found whatever it is that I'm... supposed to be finding with it. I don't know. We... We'll keep exploring. Maybe we'll find at least some of the people that are that are missing. Although I found like all those people who are dead. So I mean, like, well, are the mannequins or whatever? Take the sword. Oh, why? Why would you not take the sword? Oh, we did. Sweet. I feel like it's a good idea, man. I mean, you never know. You might need to like chop down a tree or. Or something. I used to have a machete when I was a kid. Or a machete. I used to cut down little trees with it. It was not what it was meant for. But I found it like in the backyard. Buried in the ground. So it was fine. We found an old bridge that wasn't on the map. And decided to continue over slowly. Jessica was sure the bridge wouldn't support the van. But we made it. We headed down a dirt road that got more and more overgrown. I took that as a good sign. But Ethan started to complain about a headache. So we switched driving. I knew we were getting closer because we heard less and less wildlife and the fog started to get thicker. It's pretty freaky. Eventually the road ended so we decided to unload the van and start to explore a bit ahead on foot. I left a note just in case anybody stumbled by it but even I knew that was pretty unlikely. I checked the compass to see if we were going the right way and it was going berserk. I've never seen a spin out of control like this before. I think it's a great sign but the others don't seem as pleased. As if Ethan wasn't having enough trouble, a rock landed on his head from a tree above. Not too serious, thankfully, but it made quite a mess. A mischievous crow or something else at play. We went over the hill, and that's the first time we saw it. The settlement. This is where I am. Alright, so we know that they, they gotta be kinda in this general area somewhere. Or they, they've made it somewhere. I'm not really sure what they were planning on finding out here. All right, so they, they took a picture of someone. I can read it. Can you see them too? Yeah, I mean, I see like one person. I don't know what they mean by them. I feel like this is going to turn out to be like some kind of creepy Navi situation from, from Avatar. Yeah. Giant blue cat smurfs. Yeah. What happened here? Well, obviously, my dude, this has fallen over because of wind gusts or perhaps somebody chopped it down I don't know there's there's lots of weird options probably we got somebody who lives in the woods and has some um, naked skinless uh, mannequin so that's kind of weird 
Is this a hamlet or some kind of waypoint travelers would use between villages? I can't believe how intact these buildings seem to be. Daniel seems to think there's something spooky about it. Of course he would. He had his spirit thing out wandering around. Annoyingly, it was beeping up a storm. Ethan spends most of his time taking snaps outside the walls or from up the tower. No matter how many times Jessica tells him not to. She doesn't seem to be that interested. Not that she was that bothered about coming here. She just keeps saying how cold she is. Anyway, I think we'll spend the night here. At least one of the houses intact doors. We can shut ourselves in. And I believe it's probably this one. That they potentially had a nap in. I don't see any telltale signs of anything nefarious. Except for a spoon. And um, a mug in a, one pillow. So it seems like they, for the most part, didn't stay. You know, they, they, they planned on leaving. They took their stuff. I'd be a little bit concerned about sleeping in a place like this. Uh, not because I find it creepy, because I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I would be concerned because I'm out in the middle of nowhere near this stuff, and I would imagine it was somebody else's place, and I didn't ask for permission, so it feels like not really appropriate. I wasn't sure if it was minutes that passed or hours before Ethan checked his watch and it said midnight. The sky was never bright, but it hadn't changed from the dim gloom since we arrived. And I'm sure, I'm, well, hold on, I'm unsure if it was the tiredness or stress or something else, but Jessica started to become increasingly nervous inside the settlement and wanted to return to the van for the night. I managed to convince her that we'd sleep inside one of the houses. How many chances would you get to sleep inside a real Viking house? We shut the doors and put down our sleeping bags for the night. Ethan decided to try sleeping on the bed. Sarah wasn't happy but didn't argue. Terrible nightmares. I wandered the forest. They were completely silent, but I knew I was being watched. I felt the shadows following me, skulking behind the trees. I touched one of the trees and it burst into flame. Then the whole forest was was consumed by a fire so hot I felt my skin blacken and blister. Alright. Uh, there's like a... There's something happening. <laughs> it's like, I was trying to read that, but um, obviously some kind of creatures have uh, shown up. Uh, you know what? I want to finish reading it. Alright. When I, uh, when I woke, Ethan must have woken up already as the bed was empty. The others jolted awake. They wouldn't say why, but I'm guessing he didn't sleep much better. I found Ethan outside, up in one of the towers. They looked like he was holding something. He was gone by the time he came down. He said he felt safer up there somehow. Okay, so I think that means we should go in a tower. Hey, let's go in a tower to avoid whatever crazy nonsense this is. Alright, I'm in a tower. I don't really... I didn't feel unsafe before. Uh, the thing about... Oh, look! Look, we found a person! Look at them walking over to say hello. Let's go downstairs and say hi. Hello! Hello, skinless people with the big mouths. Okay, so those people are not nice. Uh, as the life leaves your body, a power intervenes, offering you a choice. Okay, cool. What do you want me to do? What is the end of the gods called? Um, Ragnarok. It's Ragnarok. Correct. Sweet. Little trivia tossed in there. You get to test my Viking mythology knowledge, which honestly is limited. Uh, it, like, I know the major events, but I don't know all the things. I found my very first rune stone. How exciting. Ethan didn't think anything was here, but I knew it felt it. It was outside of the waypoint, into the forest, past the fallen watchtower. Despite its assumed age and the floor around it, it's completely untouched by moss and li lichen. Lich lichen. How odd, upon closer inspection, it's gold to the touch. The intricate carvings are still visible, thank goodness. It looks to be written in Elder Foothark, so it's very old indeed. Does that mean it precedes the Viking Age? It will take some time to sketch out and decipher these runes, so I'll make another note of that. Are there more rune... Uh, are there more 
runes around. We'll have to continue searching tomorrow. It's not getting darker, but it should be. That's weird, right? I mean, I guess. Can I take the axe? I mean, we'll put it in our journal, I guess. Oh, did my flash, or I guess my um, flashlight's gone, or my whatever it was. I think it was a, um, I don't know, what would you call it? It's a, um, it's a thing, man, I don't know, it, it's like a, uh, I know exactly what it's called, uh, but sometimes, like, I just, I can't find the word mentally um, that I'm looking for and then I usually prattle off a whole bunch of nonsense words trying to figure it out and um, honestly I find it a little embarrassing when that happens so I'm just not saying anything to uh, to avoid it. I figure if I actually talk about a bunch of other things um, maybe it'll just come to me. Yeah, that's gonna bother me. Okay, so he said he went into the woods by the fallen thing, the fallen tower. What happens if he in the water? Oh, nothing. All right, cool. So the water is not acid or poison. That's good to know. And the little, yeah, not the little, but the, the naked people who walk around with the weird teeth, those... They're like trivia monsters. I don't even want to call them monsters. That it just makes I feel like they're just understood. Misunderstood. I feel like they're not monsters and they're just they just happen to be people who um yeah, they got a skin condition. They're um they file their teeth, uh, you know, like it happens sometimes. Some places do the whole teeth filing stuff so they get super sharp teeth I mean it's no weirder than people getting veneers I would imagine but <sighs> out of bounds demo well what happens if we keep going forward oh, okay so we can't we can't keep going forward it's an invisible wall but not quite an invisible wall uh, you know, I always have mixed feelings about those. I understand when it comes to a demo the need to kind of corral the player into a specific area because that's kind of where, you know, all the, the stuff is for them to, to play with and whatnot. And so it's not a bad thing. Um, in a full game, however, uh, invisible, invisible walls are just kind of annoying. All right, so we found the rune. I don't know, that's super helpful. I, I can't read any of this stuff. Uh, the at man at the store chore rain for rain tour. I don't. I don't. I just just said a bunch of words. I don't speak any of that. Um, Doreen seems to be talking about one of Odin's sons, Vidar. Vidar. I think it's. How you would say it. I wonder what the significance of it being here is. He watches all within his domain, judging and ever vigilant. Is that why I can't shake this feeling of being watched? I'm not sure I believe Daniel about spirits being here, but something definitely feels weird here. The rest of the script talks about Ragnarok and the end of gods. He survives? What happens to him after that? So the fun fact about Ragnarok is Ragnarok isn't actually as bad as people think. It's not like it is like, you know, a lot of bad things happen, but it's not like the end of everything. Every major religion, I think, has some sort of thing towards, like, I don't know, the end of the world. The Vikings had, you know, Ragnarok. Um, uh, the Greek mythology, they had something too, right? I don't remember if they had something... To be honest, actually, I can't quite recall, which is funny because that's where I feel like I have most of my mythology knowledge. Okay, so the rune is right here. I feel like this is a lake over here. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. We found the lake. 
All right, so if the lake is here, then maybe we can go around it and up. Oh, and it looks like there's something over here. So my exploration is paying off. Either that or it's the same rune that I just saw and I've, I've completely turned around, which is also a possibility. I'm terrible with directions. Nah, it's new. It's a camp. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we recognize these backpacks based on the stuff we read, so it is very obviously a place they were supposed to be at. We found a third, and we think, the last rune in the area, and made camp while deciphered the rest. The rune is cryptic, but it talks about the ritual or offerings to Vidar to gain access to Harstad. It doesn't mention where, but I guess in the waypoint, or by what I can only guess, is the statue by the stone circle. An offering of power, a gift to add to his strength, his greatest weapon against Fenrir, a piece of leather to add to his shoe. An offering of life and death, symbolic to the cycles of harvest, time and death, affects all, even the gods, a small token as such is demanded. Alright, so I feel like he... I don't know, there's probably some things that I need to actually find. It's kind of a riddle. Alright, still can't read any of that stuff because it's 2024 and I grew up in America, so, you know, we have very limited education. <laughs> it's terrible. Alright, but look, look at this. It's a compass and I can't even take it. And a phone. Looks like we got these guys coming to say hello again. Seems like they left this in a hurry. Ah, the leather is probably what we need. But I feel like we're probably going to need something else as well. Um, Alright. I wonder if I need to find like the uh, one specific location. I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm going to just follow this. Uh, see what we can accomplish. I have a feeling it'll be another, like, the boundary is over for the for the demo situation. Let's see. Oh, 22 minutes have passed. Alright, so I've gone way past my usual. It's been 8 minutes, and here's what I think about a game. Um, so, that's a pretty positive thing to, to, to note. Um... Because I've just been really thoroughly engaged. Uh, I feel like we're probably wrapping up. Look at this dude. He's going to come over and say hi to me. Hey, buddy. I'm not going to talk to him right now because I'm busy looking. And um, he might ask a question that I don't have an answer for. And I don't want to have to restart. Um, I'm also not entirely sure how you find the answers that they're going to ask you. Uh, my first one was a was a lucky guess, like, I mean, because you have to write it down, which is something that I think is actually really, really cool. Um, but I'm a little concerned that the last question that I don't know the answer to, and I don't want to Google search, you know, the, the stuff, I don't want to go to Google and, and be like, what is it, or chat GPT, or... Bing or uh, DuckDuckGo, literally any of the places that you can search for. God forbid I go to Yahoo Answers and somebody tells me the answer is Pregnante. So, um, yeah, I think these would be like the extended warranty folks of uh, the the Viking Age. I don't, you know, they'd be like Ragnar, I've come to you about your extended warranty for your your axe. <laughs> Did you know that you could save up to 50% on your axe insurance? Oh, that's Geico. Whatever. You know what? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But the whole point is that I was making a joke that these guys are just, you know, kind of non-stop approaching me. Like, they're not giving up. They're just like, we're gonna get you. Oh, they give up eventually. Oh, well, that's kind of disappointing, actually. I was, I was kind of hoping they would follow me to the edges of the earth. Oh God, I wish I knew where we were. All right, I guess we're just gonna pick a direction. It's like impossible. 
it's impossible to look at this and say I have any idea where to go. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. I believe this is the camp, right? Yeah. I found the camp. Um, so we know there's at least one more rune. I feel like I need to find that. I kind of want to go back to the cave. Uh, I'm just afraid I'll, you know, fall to my weird... I don't know, collection of strangeness again. Um... With the fires going, I would assume that these guys are... These guys and gals are still here. Like, this doesn't imply anything. Like, the stuff's knocked down. Could have been a deer or a wild animal. I mean... I don't know. This dude took a lot of pictures for, for right, not really any purpose. Well, I mean, I guess with the tents being kind of torn up, it would make you think that maybe they've been out here a little bit longer. But really, all of this could happen in like a day. But the fact that their backpacks are here, I'm going to assume they left in a hurry. Alright, the settlement or waypoint as Sarah likes to call it is so creepy. The doors to the houses are open or busted items around the settlement lay in places. The villagers had just dropped everything and left a week ago. How is it all so well preserved? We've barely said two words to each other since we stepped inside. I think everyone is on edge, jumping even at the creaking of wood or the howl of the wind. I picked up one of the swords, but Sarah gave me a snap and I put it back. The metal was so cold. I think I saw Ethan pocket something out of the corner of my eye. I'll check in with him later. I got out the EMF meter and slowly began exploring. I got a low amount around the courtyard, which is normal, but I was getting a higher reading inside the houses. I tried the spirit box, but no luck yet. It feels so strange to be walking the same halls where people stood and lived hundreds of years ago. It's never felt like this before. Pretty sure they mean where, but... Um... As it was deep in thought, someone called me from outside. Uh, too faint to tell who it was when I slowly stepped out back into the misty courtyard. When I asked who called me, none of them said it was him. Ooh, peculiar. Alright. Alright, let's um, continue our exploration. Uh, I'm bound to, like, find... I don't know, I'm bound to find it, you know, where to go somehow. I, I do mostly want to just keep going one way, but there's all these paths, and I love the look of it. Like, this is a really, really well-made forest. I want to take a picture of that, because it looks cool. Yeah, I still don't see, like, the focus doing anything really useful. I feel like I'm just using it wrong. But I don't... I mean, it's not like opening up anything that, that would make sense. Uh, I got... I'm, I've gotten turned around. This is a shame. This is... Ah, look, we're in the same place again. Alright, so... Once again. I want to go kind of westish. Um, my thought is, like, if we go this way, I might be able to find something pretty cool, like... The other runestone thing, um, which might be helpful. I feel like there's probably at least two or two things I gotta give to that statue. One of them being that leather sack that I found. It seems like that is the answer. Uh, does it make sense? I don't know why a leather pouch would have helped them against Fenrir. Um, I also don't think, was that the guy that got his hand bit off? I don't remember. Okay, that doesn't help. Thanks, Focus, for nothing. Do we take fall damage? Doesn't seem like it. That's good news. It wasn't much of a fall, anyway. Um... So, uh, my thoughts so far are pretty positive. Like, it's it's definitely a very atmospheric experience. Uh, I think the lighting, the overall appearance of the forest is, is really exceptional. Like, it looks amazing. Um, now, part of it could be the fact that I, I just got a new computer. 
Um, we get a 4080 Super in there, and so the game is running on Ultra. It looks fantastic. I imagine it would still look great on, like, high as well, but... Um, the point is, I feel like the Force is just absolutely, incredibly designed. And what is this? We have found something new. A house. Or a bigger area. This is not the same settlement. This is a church way up here. Alright. I don't know what the deal is with the, the, the whole whispering. Oh, our buddies are coming back. A human skull. I wonder if that's the thing that I can use for a buddy. And by buddy, of course, I mean like the uh, statue. Oh, my lantern's working again. Oh, sweet. Can I light this? No. Dang, it's unfortunate. It's a very cool church. This church looks really familiar to me, though. I feel like I've seen a very similar design uh, or layout of it in another game. Don't remember the name of it, but it had a lady in it and she got naked a lot. Um, it was very cool, though. Like, I mean, it, was, it was like a hack and slash. Um, yeah, I wish I remembered the name of it. Yeah, it is not the point. Well, I, I'm sure there's probably something in this church. I mean, I did take the skull, and I'm hoping that could be, you know, the missing piece that I need. Um... I'm not really sure, like... Oh, that dude's stuck. He's he's really struggling with stairs. Um, I can feel his pain, though. I've always, like... I, I find that hills and... Um, I, I don't want to, like, read that right now. I want to read it, but I feel like uh, it doesn't stop the people from coming. And I would regret it. Uh, but anyway, but, like, no matter, like, how good of shape I've ever been in... Um, things like hills and mountains and, and, you know, climbing stairs. Those always tend to, like, tucker me out. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I live at relative, relatively close to sea level. Um, so, you know, just every time I try to climb up stuff, it's just like, my lungs are like, where is oxygen? Where is that magical gas that I need to survive? Which, you know, is... I plan on going to, like, Mount Baldy in November. There is a, um... A veterans walk event kind of thing, and... I just... I don't know. I don't really know any veterans in my area, but... Uh kind of hoping to kind of run into some like OIF, OEF veterans just because I feel like it might be beneficial to me and um, I feel like this uh, veteran hike thing will, will be kind of beneficial. It won't be trees and cool environments like this. It'll be like a mountain, but it's still not a, you know, too bad. It's an, it's an acceptable scenario. Um, So the game has explained pretty much why we aren't going to have a compass, and that's the fact that um, everything seems to go kind of haywire. So that's fine. Like I, uh, I'm okay with that explanation. Uh, the only thing that sucks is it's like I, I still don't actually know where I am. Like I'm, 
I know where the ruins are based on the map, but trying to figure out exactly where I need to go to get back to the village is a little bit more difficult because I'm, I'm not really, really sure um, where that is uh, in comparison to where I am. Oh, what is this little little dude? Okay, I'll take it. All right, so it's somewhere southeast. All right, so if I'm facing this, then it's got to be this way. Assuming I was facing north. So for me, I feel like I will have a lot of difficulties navigating the world because, yes, there are some specific things that we're running into that are um, landmarks, essentially. And that's helpful, but it's not as helpful as I personally need to, in order to really kind of figure out where I'm going. Like, I... I, f I'm, I found a. Did I find a. A wall or. Okay, so I th I think I'm like right. Here in this corner, but I'm I'm just not sure. Um, thankfully. I don't know. Let's we'll we'll, we'll go this way and, and and see. Hopefully we'll run into something. Um, but anyway, that's that's like where my problem is. I am lost, in the woods. Because I just, I struggle with figuring out exactly where I am. Um, Alright, definitely found the village. Alright, so that's good news. Like, I wasn't as lost as I, as I thought I was. So, what was this last thing that I, that I found? Um... Northwest. Oh, no, that's just... That's how they got here. Alright, from the van. Alright, so that's not... That's not as helpful as you would think. That took them to the cave, though. I still feel like I need to go back to the cave, but I'm gonna see if I can find this statue they were talking about. Uh, I don't recall seeing one, but apparently... Per their notes, there is a statue in here. Or on the outside, or, or something like that. Did I go into this building? I think I went into everything. Ooh, an EMF meter. Can we use it? Okay, well, I don't... I don't know. I also don't really understand the picture taking. Like I took a bunch of I took a bunch of pictures of things, but it doesn't seem to have like be all like a damaged inward sword. Um. All right. Well, we finally figured out what focus does. Apparently, it allows you to um. read words that uh, happen to be around. You know what? I feel like... Dang. Alright. Well, I feel like I thought I'd figured something out and it turns out I didn't. Where's this statue they talked about? Yeah, see, look at that statue, but I don't know where the statue is. Um... It's not this one, it's not the, not that one. Rune Discovery. Oh, I guess I didn't get like the notes from the second one. 
Oh yeah, see, so they said, um, where everybody gets away in the way it gets in the way for, or by what I can only guess is a statue by the stone circle. Well, where's the stone circle? And I, all right, so I need to go west of this place. I can't find this stuff that I'm looking for. Recent and used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh no, he caught me. Oh, what a world. Who is the photographer? Ethan. Oh. It's not Ethan. Was it David or Daniel? Oh man, they, they, they made me start over completely. Oh, what a world. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just... We go to the cave and, and explore the cave because I, I didn't get to explore the cave last time because I fell through the ground. Um, I think at that point I'm going to go ahead and just end the video. Um, I, I definitely feel like, you know, for me personally, the... The difficulties with figuring out where I am, that's going to take some time of, like, exploration and really kind of figuring everything out. I don't think it's necessarily bad as far as navigation purposes because the game world itself is really a beautiful place. I definitely wish the, there was a compass or a marking on the map, something that kind of made it a little bit easier to kind of figure out um, where I was going. Oh, actually, I didn't pick up a map this time, so... It's a shot in the dark if I can figure out where this cave is. Um, anyway, so the issue with me is just I just I just suck at directions and I have a hard time figuring out where things are. Um, the game does a good job of giving us ooh again. Uh, the game does a good job of giving us landmarks and stuff that should make it a bit easier for people to find stuff, which I think is super helpful. Um, all right, we got the cave. This is where I wanted to be. Go and explore it. Oh, you know what this reminds me of with the um, the, the I don't know the monster people, uh, the TV show from, which is a really cool show. If you like the Lost, you'll probably enjoy um, from. Oh, okay, this guy's like crouching. That's new. Um, Anyway, but it, it reminds me of that because, like, the monsters live underground. They come out of the ground and they eat you and stuff. Um, it's a really cool show. Season 3 starts soon. Anyway, not the point. Uh, so, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, man, I said a lot of ums today. Uh, it's been one of those days, man. I had a terrible morning. My computer is broken. Uh, I think I finally fixed it. Turns out it might have been some NVIDIA drivers that... Uh, Hated each other. Maybe it was an issue with having the GeForce Experience app and the NVIDIA Beta app um, installing drivers on top of each other. I'm not really sure, but everything seems to be good now. It seems to have fixed it. Uh, my fingers are crossed that I actually did because uh, I don't need this kind of nonsense the day before my birthday when I'm supposed to be chilling and relaxing. Uh, Merrick. Now, back to the subject matter on hand. I really like the, the whole vibe and the aesthetic. The game is absolutely beautiful. The environment is really well done. Like, it definitely looks like a forest. It just looks really, really good. Um, I feel like we're not supposed to go into the cave this far. It just kind of feels a little bit incomplete. I mean, it is a demo, so, you know, perhaps it is not ready, but... So the cave was unfortunately a dead end. It just took us somewhere to like another location that is essentially a place that we've kind of already been. Um, and that is the outside. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, you, you definitely have to pick up that map in the beginning because if you don't, you're gonna you're gonna run into some, some severe difficulties. Uh, so I guess if I had like one thing that I do wish was a little bit different is I wish there was a couple of things we could do. Like we have the lantern. I wish we could light these. 
just because that would allow us to know that we've kind of already gone through this area, so it's like a an area of familiarity, which might be beneficial to people like me. It's not super necessary, but it would be kind of nice. Um, I don't know which rune... Okay, I've, I've been to this one. And in some things, it's like... I don't know, it just seems like you have to be at the exact right angle in order to kind of pick up or interact with stuff, which is a little bit on the weird side. Okay, that apparently has no text. And this one has no notes. Yeah, I'm not going to read you, because I can't. Oh, here it is. Okay, the rudiments of the village in these forests, Harstead, which we've actually already found that. Um, yeah, so it, it definitely implies that I'm supposed to find some things. I'm supposed to take it somewhere in particular. The uh, only thing is I don't really know where to take it because... On one hand, they say take it to the village where there's a statue, but I couldn't find the statue. On the other, they say to take it to, like, a stone circle, which I have no idea where that is. Um, and right now I don't have the map, so I'm just babbling on about nothing at this point. Um, the focus ability? I don't know. Like, it encourages you to use it often. But aside from a couple places where it uh, pops up some words that tell you things, I don't know that it's useful. I feel as though, like, I'm not using it appropriately. Like, there's probably a better time for me to use it, and I'm just I'm just not doing that. Um, so, I don't know, it's just me. Alright, so here's the village, right? So we found the village before. There's... Not a statue in the village that I have seen. So that part is definitely confusing uh, because there's that implication that there is one, but there isn't one. Which means it's got to be in this stone circle thing, wherever it is. But yeah, anyway, so at this point, like, I, it would just be me running around retracing my footsteps and just trying to go everywhere and uh, hoping to find the actual... Um, whatever it is I'm supposed to be looking for, but I, I don't I don't know where it is. It's hard for me to... Oh, look, I found the statue. Jeez. Maybe we can play some stuff here? Um... Alright, so, because I feel as though... There's got to be a way for us to put some stuff. Um, but I imagine we actually have to find the right stuff. Oh, okay. So this actually tells us what we need to put down. Um, that's not really super helpful without us knowing. Um... Luck and Divinity. Yeah, that's, that's the Viking symbol. There's some wrath being tested, overcoming obstacles. So these are all the things that we're going to have to, like, place down, I guess, um, for the sacrifices. It's pretty cool. The downside is, of course, that um, if you like me and you have the memory of a goldfish, you've already forgotten what locations you were supposed to put things and everything, uh, which isn't going to do you much good whatsoever. Uh, I feel like this might have been, um, one of our dudes, and he's been mummified. It's kind of unfortunate, poor dude. Yeah, but anyway, that's what I'm saying, like, I mean, well, I guess there's symbols that kind of tell you, but if I look at this, I feel like, um, the symbol, um, it would be useful if I had it in my notes, 
because I don't know what that is and I've already forgotten what was what. Uh, so I would just, even if I had all of the objects, I would likely be putting them down in the wrong places. So, that's kind of a little bit of a disappointment um, with how that works. Um, but that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to finish the demo. At least not um, at this moment. Um... Because I would, I would have to restart again at this point to get back to the the van easily to um, start exploring to try to find everything and then run around and find all the items. Uh, but I'm definitely intrigued. Um, I feel pretty firm about the fact that I have this on my wish list. It is a very interesting title. It looks super cool. Again, I quite like it. Uh, I know I prattled on about a whole bunch of stuff and, and wasn't real easy for me to stay on track. I apologize for that, but... Um, you know, but it's just, it's Tuesday, man. Just, just kind of give me a break. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because, like I said, I would just kind of have to start over uh, because I'm completely lost with where I am. And trying to find stuff, I'm going to go and give some feedback on the thing. And that is, like I said, the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope uh, you go check out Nowhere and give it a wish list yourself.